Get ready to have your mind blown and your umbrella nearly ripped from your grasp as we venture to the edge of the world. Welcome to Down Patrick Head in County Mayo, where reality and myth intertwine. As you stand on these rugged cliffs, looming over the choppy Atlantic waters, you can hear echoes of ancient stories whispered by the caves below. The land here is steeped not only in sun, wind and rain, but also in legends and stories that have been passed down through generations for hundreds if not thousands of years. And at the heart of these legends stands Kronthov, a figure shrouded in mystery. Picture this, a time when gods and mortals walked the earth together and Kronthov reigned supreme as a pagan chieftain or perhaps even a god himself. His name, meaning the dark stooped one, hints at the enigmatic nature of his leg legendary figure. Now, let me paint you a picture of a fateful encounter between this man, Cromdov, or God, and St. Patrick, a clash of titans that would shape the destiny of Down Patrick Head forever. As the story goes, St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, journeyed to these very cliffs to confront Cromdov about his misdeeds. Now, amidst the howling winds and the crashing waves, St. Patrick stood firm. He faced down the might of Cromdov himself. It was a battle not just of strength, but of faith, a struggle between the old ways and the new. Legend has it that Cromdov, in a desperate attempt to stop St. Patrick, set his dogs on him, but they were chastened by St. Patrick. But Cromdov would not be so easily defeated and in a desperate bid to thwart his efforts, he attempted to cast Patrick into the eternal fire. But Patrick drew a cross on a stone and cast it into the flames. A gesture that would not only change history, but change the landscape itself. In that moment, Patrick's stone left a deep hole in the earth. Pol Nishanchina, the hole of the old fire. A symbol of St. Patrick's divine intervention and triumph over darkness. Leaving this impressive blowhole we see here today. But the battle went on. St. Patrick drove his crozier into the earth with such force, it actually separated Cromdov's stronghold of Dumbrishta from the mainland. Cromdov was then left alone on the sea stack. Some stories say that he might have been devoured by the midges out there, and others say that when he died, demons tried to steal his soul, but St. Patrick arrived back with a host of angels, and together they saved him because his good deeds had apparently outweighed his bad. Legends say that this very spot was where St. Patrick unleashed his holy power to rid Ireland of all its snakes. It was a symbolic act, representing the end of the old pagan customs and the triumph of Christianity. The slithering creatures were seen as a representation of the ling lingering remnants of ancient beliefs making this more than just a physical battle between two men. It embodied a clash of cultures, a profound struggle between traditional ways and new ideas, between the enduring legacy of the past and the dawn of a new era. Down Patrick Head isn't just a beautiful view. It's a place imbued with ritual and pilgrimage, where centuries-old traditions converge. Imagine what it would have been like to stand here amidst the vibrant energy of the Festival of Lunasa at the end of the summer, when devotees gathered to honour Lu, the youthful and mighty god. It was believed that Lu triumphed over the elder deity Cromdov each year, ensuring a bountiful harvest for the people. The atmosphere would have crackled with anticipation as pilgrims converged at Down Patrick Head and other sacred sites, seeking blessings for the year ahead, hoping for divine favour. Even now, every year on Reek Sunday, people still ascend Croke Patrick, a tradition steeped in reverence and spiritual significance, 
echoing the pagan customs of old. As I wander the windswept cliffs and explore the hidden caves of Downpatrick Head, I can't help but feel the presence of those who have come before me. Their footsteps echo through the ages, their prayers carried on the wind, their hopes and dreams woven into the very fabric of this ancient landscape. This site's folklore and mythology add to its fascination, but new myths continue to emerge. Though some may suggest a recent flood as the explanation for the sedimentary rock on Dumbrishta, the reality is much more complex and spans millions of years. Each layer tells a story of changing environmental conditions over time. Thanks to geologists' meticulous work, we know these formations date back hundreds of millions of years and offer valuable insights into the Earth's geological history. So, while dramatic narratives may be tempting, the truth lies in patiently unravelling nature's mystery over eons of time. So the next time you find yourself standing on these majestic cliffs, take a moment to pause, to reflect and to connect with the rich tapestry of history and tradition that surrounds you here. Because in this place, amidst the wild beauty of the Irish coast, the veil between the physical and the spiritual is thin and every rock, every cave, every gust of wind carries the echoes of those who have come before. Tonight's sleep story is all about the fate of Crom Dove. So join me on my YouTube channel, The Sleepy Scholar, to hear exactly how the tale unfolds while you drift off to sleep. But don't keep this magic to yourself. Share it with your loved ones and let the legend live on. And remember, always keep searching, keep questioning, and keep chasing the untold tales that illuminate our universe. Until we meet again, may your dreams be filled with adventure and wonder. Slán agus